What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case RK's video. On this episode today, we're going to be going over the PR build. Shooting this video real quick as a tutorial for our customer. Um, Chari bought this for her husband, um, so it's kind of a surprise. So this video is really meant to kind of show him how the machine works and all that. So right now we have the machine powered off. It is unplugged uh, right off the top. Just so you know, there is a volume controller right here and you also have headphone jack here. It's very simple. All you literally got to do is you take the plug and you just plug it in. Once you plug it in, everything should start up on its own. Leave it alone. It probably takes about a minute to boot up. You'll get a little bit of a loading screen. LEDs turn on, screen turns on. Again, all we do is that we literally put the plug in and let it do its thing. While it's loading, we'll go through some of the basics. Again, you got player one here, you got player two here. Uh, arcade games do use your coins. These are also your select buttons as far as like Super Nintendo and your NES. Also on the control panel, you kind of have kind of like the, the button layout. So depending on what system you're gonna play, I did it in a way that it'll show you what buttons you're pressing and all that. So it's gonna load up into this thing called a track mode. Again, I have my volume off, so there's literally a, a wheel here to control the volume. So you could use that. And basically it's gonna load up into this. This is like your main screen. This is where you're gonna find like your arcades and everything like that. So you could use player one or two. Basically we're just going up and down on the list. And you'll see there is sometimes a slight delay. There's a lot of action going on with a track mode. You only see it on this kind of screen. In game, there's no delay. Um, when you're in this attract mode, there's a couple buttons you could press. Button one is to enter. So if you wanted to go into arcade, you press enter. Button two is back. So if you want to go back, you can press back. Um, button three is letter up. Button six is letter down. And I did set a button for random. Um, so basically, again, we're going to let's say we want to play some Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2, for example. In the arcade wheel, there's a lot of different wheels. You know, you could look up like uh, Neo Geo and you could look up all the Capcom games, but your main one really will be MAM. Once you're in that, you press the button one as enter. And here you're in the arcade MAM wheel. So you can see here, there's literally 2,200 games. Um, it already is on Street Fighter, but I'm just gonna pretend that we kind of randomized it. Um, basically what you could do is that this is your wheel here. You can see the name of the game here, but it's also the logo here. So very simple. You either go up and down to kind of see where your game is. We want to play street fighter. So this is kind of like where I had the letter up right now. We're under the letter T so street fighter. This is an alphabetical order. So I want to go to S so we could do letter up, meaning the previous letter will bring us as you can see, there's the ultimate, the T. So I'm under the S. We're gonna keep going until we see S because we want to play some Street Fighter. So again, I'm literally pressing button three. So Q, I went too far. I could press button six to jump to R, button six again to jump to S. And you could basically now hold down the joystick to get to Street Fighter. Again, there's 2,200 games. So I put the letter jump to just make it easier for you to navigate the games. Again, it's in alphabetical order, so we're gonna look for Street Fighter 2. So we are right now under SP. We need to go to ST. We're almost there. And there's a couple of Street Fighters. Doesn't matter which one, we're just gonna load up Street Fighter 2. Button one is enter again, so you just press enter if you wanna pick that game. It'll go into this kind of loading screen. Arcade games have like a previous loading screen where it has like this warning thing. That's just how the real arcade was. So as you can see, it is booting up. Give it a few seconds to boot up. As far as MAM arcade and a lot of systems, you have your coins. So yellow is coin. So literally you could see I'm entering coins. You have your start up top here. So we could do player one start. So it's a one player game or you could get player two in and now it's a two player game. So you can pick your characters and all that. Just remember that arcade does need coins. So if player two start doesn't work, you have to add the coin. You could just enter in, let's just pick some characters. 
and you're playing it right now as a regular arcade this is a regular arcade game as if you were in the store playing an arcade game this is exactly how it would run i also use street fighter if you ever have any issues with buttons always load up street fighter and then you just want to make sure each button works and as you can see all six buttons are good same thing for player two button test also joystick test so left right up and down left right up and down perfect on the bottom here are a couple of extra stuff so some of the games utilize a save and a load so you could literally if you wanted to let's say you know you're playing and you want to go eat you literally hold down the shift key so you need to hold the shift key and you can press the save button and when you do that there is wording there that says save state so let's just say like we're beating up each other and you go eat you want to come back you could literally load remember anything here you need to have the shift button held so if i wanted to load the last save state i just loaded up the last game we played last thing you're bored you're tired you don't want to play this game anymore you have to exit out of the system all you got to do is shift exit you have to hold shift down and exit brings you back to the arcade wheel and then you could pick a different game now you're inside right now the arcade wheel let's play let's try to find um super mario world 3 that's a super nintendo game so we're in the arcade wheel we have to go back so you're going to press the back button press it again because super nintendo is not an arcade choice it is a console choice so we're going to go into console we'll press enter and now you can see you have a lot of consoles you have atari's you got the nes which is the original nes um, we're going to do right now, we're going to play some Super Mario World 3. So we're going to go to Super Nintendo, button 1 to enter. And now, as you can see, I'm under the number 2. We want to go to S. So I'm using my letter skip. And as you can see, A, B, C. So it's just jumping through. Again, I'm literally, you could even hold this down if you want. Elemental P, Q, R, S. I'm going to actually go to T because it's Super Mario. And I'm under T, I'm going to go up with the joystick it's just easier if sometimes you find shortcuts to get to games and let's see super off-road all right we got super mario all-stars i want to play this button one again you can see a little loading screen and now it's literally just like the super nintendo game so sometimes you have to utilize the star button on some older systems and you know you could pick a game here so we could do this one we're gonna press start um as you can see our buttons here it literally says like this is dash and this is jump that's okay we're gonna press start and you just play the game so same thing you could save a state here so let's just right now we're gonna take a snapshot we're gonna save it so again shift save for any of these buttons to work you have to hold shift it's a must then you can go into the game Let's just say, oh no, you lost your last life. Again, so we have this set up like this. I'm doing it with one hand. So I'm using this button and this. That's how it started. You saw on the little menu. If I wanted to, I could load where I'm at. So shift and the load. And it literally brought you me back to the regular place. I am done playing. I don't want to play anymore. Again, shift, exit. You have to hold shift to make sure that these keys work the gist of how to use the system the big thing to be sure about when you are done playing with the system don't just unplug it what you're going to do is that you're going to keep going back until you see this exit a track mode when you do see that and you want to shut off the system press yes on that and once you see the little pie symbol you are safe to just unplug the system and we're going to do it again i'm going to reboot so i'm plugging back in and again the system does everything on its own don't touch it leave it be it takes about a minute or two you have also your led controller here the sensor is right up top and basically like if you didn't like the whole flashy mode you want to just leave it like white or you want to make it red or you make it green blue there's a lot of stuff here it's really cool with the leds but again let the system do its thing and it takes about you know a minute or two this also has four player mode on it which i'll show you that real quick there are some arcade games that play four player and there's also like for example the n64 that will play four player so i'll show you a, a quick game on that and i'll also send you a list of that so 
One four-player game that I definitely know for sure is The Simpsons. It's a Simpsons arcade game. It's a great game. So we want to play an arcade game. We're going to make sure that we go into arcade. And again, you could play around with like these subcategories. Some of them are like quick. I just stick with MAME. You press enter again. And we have to play The Simpsons. So we are under ST. We're going to go with my button six. So make sure you can see it. So again, we're gonna to go to the and then the S. So G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. It's just so much easier just jumping with this. And as you can see here, we have the Simpsons. So the best thing I do suggest is that before you do activate the game, you're gonna to wanna to turn on your controller. So all you do is that you hold down the PlayStation button and that's it, just leave it alone. Also with this one, just hold it down and let it go for a couple of seconds. This is already configured. As you can see, this is player three. So we have player three and player four, the lights are on these and all that. Now you can start the game. Anytime you're playing it, this is always player one. This is always player two. Depending on which control you turn on first is three and four. So we let this go. And basically the PlayStation controller mimics the same thing here. It's basically, um, I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, L1 is three, four, five, six is R1. On the PlayStation controller, the coin is your select. So a four player game like this, for example, with the Simpsons, uh, the specific character is set to the, to the player. That's how the ROM is. So player one is always Marge. You can't play player three as player one. It doesn't work that way. Player two, is Homer and as you can see it, it only recognizes it when you put the coin in so right now I'm gonna put a coin in and this is Bart and on player four Lisa we press start we press start we press start we press start so there are a couple of there's a, there's a lot actually I think there's about maybe like 30 or 44 player games uh, really cool you get the whole family around it it's awesome um, again four player if you were right now playing and like let's say I was um, Lisa and I want to be Marge, I have to literally jump on this controller. I have to jump on this arcade stick and switch with someone. So as you can see, we're getting beat up a little bit, but we have four players on this. So this is Bart. This one is Lisa. Homer and Marge are in like this tag team mode. So let's just get them out of here. Just gotta wait for somebody to beat us up. So this again, this is Marge. So as you can see, we're playing it. This is Homer, so I could press this button. And same thing, you could always save where you're at. Let's say now it's time to eat, we're gonna walk away. If I move my characters around, I could shift load and it's it loads up right where we saved. Again, we're tired, we don't have plenty more. Shift, exit, and you're back. The PlayStation controllers turn off after I believe it's 10 minutes of not being used. So there's no switch for these, they just turn off on their own. That's really it. Again, there is a, a lot of games. So for example, like we have NBA Jam. So let's do that real quick. Again, we're still under arcade. I need to go to N. So again, I'm using my letter up, previous letter basically, to get to N, L, M, N. I'm under M, I'm gonna go down. And as you can see, we're under N. And now we have NBA Jam. Button one is enter. Let it load. And again, we wanna kinda just double check, make sure our controllers are on. So as you can see, we're adding all of our coins. Just gonna make sure that we have basically a full game. Use up remaining credits. So now we got a full game going. There's so many games. <laughs> you just kind of forget your button combinations, but this right now again, four player NBA jam. So as you can see, player one, this is how NBA Jam was. You had to just go through the little screens. And again, this is one, two, three, and four. So in a game like this with NBA Jam, players one and two are on the arcade stick. So player one and player two are on the same team. Player three and player four are on the same team. So as you can see, I'm not doing this with one hand. 
and there you go. Same thing, when you're bored, you don't wanna play anymore, shift, exit, and it will be back. The only big thing, like I said, the biggest, biggest thing is that don't just unplug it, you must turn off the system. So when we are done playing, you go back, you go back, and you go back, and you press yes on a track mode, enter, boom. A lot of games on this, again, 15,000 games. You even have handhelds on this. So this does play like the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance. There's a couple of like PSPs, uh, PSP minis. They're not that great, but you know, a lot of people do enjoy like the Game Boy Color and all that. So if I wanna do Game Boy Color, you press enter. And this now, right on the bottom right, you can literally see how many games there are. So it's 535 games. So same thing, you go through it. You want to play you want to play this you press button one let it go through i have these set to stretch to full screen so as you can see this is a 16 by 9 screen let it go through its loading thing and now same thing here see like we have game boy here so a and b is here start Game Boy is a one player console, so there is no two player action on this. And as you can see, you can play it. Boom. Same thing, we could save, shift, save. Remember to press that shift. You have to hold shift down. If you do this freely, as you can see, I can't exit. You have to shift and then exit. That's how it is. Let me show you real quick. It's pretty cool. There is a collections area. So, um, you know, I have some customers that say, hey, Vic, I want to see all of the Street Fighters. Where is there a way to see all the Street Fighters? So the same thing, it's in alphabetical order. We could go to S, uh, G. It basically takes all the game types. So even sports, it'll take all the hockey games, all the fighting games. There is one for Street Fighter. So I passed it. So superheroes, and then you have Street Fighter. So if I press enter here, this will show all the Street Fighters that are in our system. So we have 46 Street Fighter titles. So this is going from arcade into some of the Sega systems, the Sega Genesis and all that. Uh, let's go back. Let's do some, uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll try to find, oh, uh, we could do Mortal Kombat. We could do Pitfall, Metal Slug. Metal Slug is a great game. So this will show you all the Metal Slug classics. And there is 22 Metal Slugs here. And it's just quicker. If you know the exact game you wanna play, it's so much quicker to just do that. A cool thing about um, this type of setup is I have this set to a track mode. What that means is that after 45 seconds, the screen will kind of go into this roulette wheel and it'll go through all the games within this category that you're in so we're right now under um the collections so right now if i leave it alone it's just previewing metal slug and again it's set to 45 seconds so after 45 seconds it's called a track mode you could literally walk away and it'll just kind of show you this kind of nice little scenes um it shows you all the different videos and all the different games going on so again, it's 45 seconds. There you go, it activated. So now it's showing us like the boxing. There is a category in here for boxing and it's just showing you a couple of little videos that's in that wheel and all that. Uh, that's what's great about this. Um, the the track mode on this is really cool because you could literally leave it alone and it'll kind of do its own artwork phase and all that. So for example, I'm gonna do one more, which is arcade. Arcade is most likely the most common one that a lot of people use because they just leave it on and then they can walk away. So again, if you don't touch it for 45 seconds, it will then display all the arcade games. It's a, it, again, it's called the track mode. It's really cool. It just, it just makes the cabinet look cool. Instead of just this solid screen on all the time, it kind of just cycles through all the games and you actually discover some new games that you would never even know was there. Again, it's set to 45 seconds. I used to have it set to 30. I thought it was too fast. Um, 45 seconds is a good number. So again, all you gotta do is just leave it alone, leave it be, and you'll see that it will just activate a track mode. And again, it has sound. So even in a track mode, the audio is on, the sound is on. Slow it. 
So as you can see, it went into a track mode. So it's showing you a game called International Cup 94. Little snippets, little videos. It's really cool. I discovered so many unknown games because of a track mode. And then again, usually after each video has its own type of settings, uh, as settings, uh, seconds. So like after 30 seconds, 40 seconds, basically once the video is done, it jumps to another game. Again, this is a track mode. If it's in a track mode, you want to play it, you can press any button and it'll just basically wake it up and it'll take you to where you were. Same thing. Remember, we are done playing for tonight. I strongly, you have to do this. You must shut it down, go back, go back, and you're gonna press yes on a track mode. That's it. Once you see the little pie, you could literally pull the plug. All right, buddy, so I hope you enjoy the gift your wife got you. If you have any questions, you could always message me. She has my, uh, my contact information. And enjoy the arcade, buddy. I hope it was a good surprise.